it's Danny. Today I just want to show you one of my recent purchases, which is this Calia orchid. I purchased it about two weeks ago, and um, unfortunately the flower didn't last so long. I did make a video on it, but I'm not going to post it because it was in the time that I was very sick and my voice really sucked. But I'll show you in the corner of the screen how the flower looks like. It's really pretty. I couldn't identify it. It's most probably um, a no ID hybrid. Uh, but the good thing about it is that it smells really fantastic, something like uh, vanilla with citrus or lemon or something like that. Anyway, the problem with this Catlia is that it has a rotten pseudobulb. This can happen, apparently. Um, how I discovered it actually was I removed the dried sheath from the pseudobulb and uh, I discovered this mess here. Now this happened because somebody watered it from above and water got trapped between the dried sheath and the pseudobulb. And this is what I wanted to present to you. What I did was um, spray it with hydrogen peroxide and some cinnamon and the infection stopped. It didn't spread anymore and it looks like the affected area are starting to dry up, which is a good, good sign. Um, but I think when you're buying Calia orchids, if you see dried sheaths on the pseudobulbs, maybe it's a good idea to remove them and inspect the plant because sometimes you may find ugly stuff like this or uh, maybe parasites, even uh, parasites. So I think it's a good idea. Also, make sure you don't ever water a Calia orchid or any other orchid from above because water can get trapped in the crown or in surfaces that you can't really reach and it can cause really great damage. And uh, I've never seen a pseudobulb rotting from above like this. This is a first. But apparently it can be treated if you spot it in time. So yeah, I think it's a good idea to remove dried sheath from Calia orchid pseudobulbs. It does look better. Um, if the pseudobulb was prettier, it will look better. But yeah, just make sure that you don't have ugly surprises like this one. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you today. And uh, thank you for watching. Just make sure that you have always in your house some cinnamon and some hydrogen peroxide because apparently they're lifesavers. My orchid friend had a really, really nasty fungal infection and it spread so amazingly fast. In a few days, it affected four pseudobulbs and their leaves and they died. And I told her to spray it right now with um, hydrogen peroxide. And eventually, um, the spreading stopped and the plant is saved, but it only has one pseudobulb left. But it's good, Calia orchids are survivors. So, okay, lesson of the day, make sure there's no water trapped in the pseudobulb and the dried sheath or the green sheath um, of the Calia orchid. If it's dried, remove it. I think it's better and inspect the plant. And if you see any signs of rotting, um, do spray with hydrogen peroxide. If you don't have a fungicide, maybe, I don't know, I've never used fungicides. Um, hydrogen peroxide works great for me. And yeah, have some cinnamon. Um, in the house as well because it really dries surfaces very fast. I'm not sure if it has um, fungal properties, they say it does, I'm not sure, but it does dry surfaces really really fast. Okay, thank you for watching this video, hope you found it useful and if you want to see more please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!